from expressionsvinyl.com and if you're like me and kind of a newbie to Silhouette Machine, today I want to show you one of the very basic things and that is how to upload images onto your Silhouette. You're probably super excited when you opened your box and took out your machine and hooked it up to your printer and then you thought, what now? How do I get images to cut? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's begin. When you're looking for an image to download onto your silhouette, you want to make sure uh, that it is a simple image, especially as a beginner. This is a simple black and white coloring page that I downloaded. It has nice straight lines, so there's nothing really wild and funky about it. I've downloaded that onto my desktop, and then I'm going to go into my silhouette studio, and up in file, under library, I'm going to import to library. So I'm going to find that image on my desktop. It's a daisy right here. And there you can see that it's been downloaded onto my library. If I simply slide it over onto my workspace, there is my daisy. So this image right now is not ready to cut. It is still a picture. So what I need to do is convert it so that it will actually have cut lines. I'm going to do that by using the trace tool. And I can go up here to the trace tool, select trace area over here on the right. And if I put a box around that daisy, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Everything that's in yellow, uh, is what's going to cut, but you can see there's some spots that aren't very yellow yet. So I'm going to increase my high pass filter over here until I don't see any more of those gray areas. Once I've done that, I can just simply push trace and there is my daisy. You can see it, it traced really well with straight lines um, if there's something that's jagged or out of place, then that's going to be a little bit more difficult. But now what I want to do is I decided I want this two different colors. I want white petals because it's a daisy, and I want the bottom side to be pink. So what I can do is simply select my image. I'm going to release the compound path, and that way it will allow each one of these petals to be their own uh, to be on their own, and I can color them however I want. I could make them all different colors. I'm just making them white over here on the color palette. And Now, just to show you what this would look like, I'm going to make the outside bright pink. Isn't that cute? There's my daisy right there. It looks like spring. So now I'm ready to cut my object. I'm going to go up here into my cut settings. If I were simply to cut it right now, it would cut my pink and my white, and I don't want it to do that. I want to select each one of those separately. So right now I've got the pink selected. If I push no cut on that, then it's not going to cut my pink and it will simply cut all of the white petals. So we can send this to our silhouette. Always make sure you do a test cut to make sure that you're cutting, cutting at the right depth. And after I've cut my white, I can go back and select everything, no cut. You can see it's, it's highlighted pink or red for the cut lines. It's hard to see my cut lines on the pink. Now I'm just gonna cut the pink part out. Send again to your silhouette. So this is what that would look like. I've got my white that I cut first 
and my pink that would go underneath of it underneath it so that is a really easy way to upload you can make something super easy start out with beginners start out with black and white and you will have so much more success and then you can gradually increase your knowledge from there if you found this helpful please like us please comment Please share it with your friends, and if you need more inspiration, please check out our blog. Thanks, bye.